Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate scripts to enable all the foreign key constraints in SQL Server database. So, in last video, we learned how to disable the foreign key constraint in all in a, in a database for all the tables. Now, we were talking about uh, you are working with the ETL team and uh, they want to insert the data, they want to update the data, delete the data, and uh, they don't care about data integrity and uh, they want you to disable the foreign key constraint and you did uh, for them. Now, once they are done, uh, they want you to re enable uh, the foreign key constraints uh, in SQL Server database. Uh, so, this is how we will generate the scripts and run them. First of all, we need to know which uh, foreign key constraints are disabled uh, so you can use uh, sys dot foreign keys uh, uh, um, uh, system view to check that information uh, and uh, this is uh, the information we get uh, so i'm using schema name and object name and i provide the schema id and parent object uh, uh, id from the sys uh, dot foreign keys uh, uh, table view to this uh, these functions uh, and uh, then get the schema name and table name and I have uh, the name that's a foreign key constraint name and then I use the statement uh, case uh, to convert this value let's say if it is a uh, is uh, disable is equal to one then I say okay no otherwise yes and end as enabled so this query is going to return you schema name table name foreign key constraint name and the status in this case we see that uh, these uh, both constraints are disabled now we need to generate uh, the scripts to enable them we'll use the same uh, uh, system view and use the columns uh, to generate this uh, statements uh, we are using some static keywords such as uh, alter table so uh, our statement is going to be like this uh, alter table and schema name my table name and then you say check uh, constraint and foreign key constraint name that's what you need to provide and uh, as uh, I have the schema name already so I can uh, uh, place it here I have the table name I can place it here and uh, I can add these static keywords uh, and uh, then I can use uh, the foreign key constraint name so this is how I can generate uh, my alter scripts uh, from sys dot foreign keys of views uh, and i'm only generating where uh, the foreign keys are disabled uh, so you see that i'm saying alter table that's a static keyword that i need to add and then i'm concatenating uh, with the schema name and then uh, the table name and then uh, i am adding uh, these static keywords check constraint and then add using uh, the foreign key constraint name so plus sign is used for concatenation and uh, i am adding uh, also the parenthesis around it in case uh, uh, I have uh, a space in my schema name or in table name so uh, uh, and as well as uh, I have added uh, the parenthesis around uh, my foreign key constraint name so run this one and now you copy this uh, statements uh, or scripts uh, and just paste it here so it is an alter table your schema name table name and then say check constraint and constraint name so this will enable uh, the foreign key constraint uh, uh, um, for all for whatever the constraints you have in the database uh, you can always filter for some of the constraints if you want uh, uh, if you are only concerned about the few of the uh, constraint which are related to one schema or uh, some specific tables uh, with the where class you can have possibility to filter those uh, records and generate only the scripts for required uh, tables uh, or foreign key constraint names uh, now at this point maybe you will feel like okay he is using this select query and all that to generate two lines of code here but in your case you might have 50 60 foreign key constraints and it will take you forever to write these statements that's why this comes really handy and it can generate the script for you in just a couple of seconds and you can take those scripts run them let's run them now and then they completed successfully let's check the status again and now we go ahead and run the statement and we see that this is uh, enabled uh, so all the foreign key constraints are enabled in this uh, database where we are uh, in the tech browsers IT so you choose always your database wherever you want to run uh, these uh, scripts uh, so in my case uh, I was running on tech browsers IT thanks very much and I will put the link uh, in the description so you can copy the both scripts uh, to see if uh, the foreign key constraint is uh, disabled or enabled and what is the name of the table and schema and uh, foreign key and uh, also how to generate uh, the uh, 
scripts uh, to enable foreign key constraints in a database. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys next video.